guys welcome back to the channel my name is Lee and I'm a DIY electric skateboard builder and today we have an interesting problem in the workshop to look at I've got a board here from a guy called Keith Wilson in the UK he's been riding it for three months he only built it three months ago and uh, he got a load of advice from me about the motor mounts uh, the motors the vests all that sort of stuff um, three months down the line it's um, well it's not working very well at all so uh, he dropped it off the other day and uh, we're gonna have a look at it on the bench now. I'm gonna go and get it. Hey! It might look a bit bare bones, guys, but actually, I really do like this build. It's super light tramper, it's a jumper, it's got a 10S4P battery in it, and just everything about it is pretty cool. I like builds like this, where you don't have to go too complicated. You just build something to do a job, and it does a job for Keith. Some of it is a bit ghetto, let me show you this. So this is the, uh, this is the case for the receiver for the remote and it just you know in here he's got the dongle uh, yeah I mean it's not gonna set the world on fire for beauty but in itself that is beautiful well I think it is anyway so yeah guys Keith's got a 10s 4p uh, Sony VT6 cells in here I think can't remember um, he tells me that uh, he was getting 11 miles range then it went down to seven, and now it's almost nothing. So it sounds like the battery is shagged, and I've got a couple of ideas about why that might be the case. But the first thing to do is to check out which charge it's got, and then we'll take it out for a ride, and we'll just see ourselves what's going on with it, really. Right, okay, what's it saying? 48%, can you read that? 48% battery. Um, I see the charging sockets here. I'm going to get it charged up. Right, okay, that's on charge. Four amp charger, and the time now is 11.34. So let's see how long that takes to charge. Okay guys, so little update, um, it's now 11.59 and the pack is saying it's at 97%, 41.1 volts, but the charger is not hot at all, I mean it's slightly warm but it's not hot, so yeah this has charged up quite fast to 97 from 40, so I don't know guys, um, I'm just going to keep monitoring really, see what happens. I've not seen this before. I'm trying to figure out whether it's the BMS or if it's the cells that have gone. The BMS seems to be working, right? I mean, it's charging the battery up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so when I remove the charger, guys, um, then we're reading 87%. 40 volts so the BMS is doing its job I've seen it doing its job but it's the cells aren't holding the charge for sure uh, let's take it out for a quick ride let's see what happens I'm assuming this, is, this pack is just gonna sag really badly and um, yeah I think the pack is knackered <laughs>
Okay guys, first impressions, I'm half a mile from my house, not even that, and the pack is reading 60%. Um, it was reading 20% on the load as soon as I left the house, so there's definitely a problem with the pack. Also the remote isn't reading the battery voltage, I think that's easy to sort out, it's probably just been set to 12S or something on here. And I feel like the settings are too aggressive, the current settings feel too aggressive on acceleration and brake for the size of this pack, it's only a 10S 4P pack, so you can only give out 80 amps maximum. Um, I have a feeling it's too aggressive and that could be the reason why this pack is now broken while we're now experiencing problems with it so so then guys I guess it's time to take the board back to the workshop and have a look at the VESC settings I think it's got to be that so yeah guys let's have a look at the VESC tool so the board's reading 43% and if we go to real-time data how far do we go half a mile half a mile so yeah guys 0.6 of a mile uh, and it's down to 40% battery already it was sagging so hard uh, I didn't want to ride it that hard because I was afraid that it was gonna throw me off so if like the battery went to zero it would like something bad would happen so it's time to get the PC and have a look at the settings of this VESC in my mind straight away I think the VESC settings are too aggressive and I think that may have killed the pack, so let's get the computer. Right guys, hopefully you can see this. So I've just connected the VESC up, or the master, connected to the master VESC anyway. Um, I thought I'd have a look at the, at the motor config, which I've just read from the VESC. So currently the VESC is drawing 60 amps per VESC, that's 120 amps, and pushing back 40 amps in total. So whilst that is aggressive, it's not massively aggressive. But the problem is this, it's set for 12S, but look at the cutoffs, 10 volts and 8 volts, which is just, it's just not right. So for 12S it should be, should be the figures down there, but uh, this isn't even a 12S board, this is a 10S board. So now I'm wondering whether the battery's been overly discharged at some point, because those cutoffs are not right. Too aggressive everything's too aggressive so yeah I think the battery's shagged guys proper shagged found another problem guys loose motor mount so I have to take care of that 